There cannot be, in my opinion, peace and security for that region, for the people of Israel or the Palestinians and the people of Gaza without a two-state solution. And we cannot give up on that. What is the um, long-term vision for the Israelis and Palestine, uh, Palestinians and how will they live with each other? Will it be possible, what we mentioned earlier, also with respect to Rwanda, where there was a genocide, is it possible to come instead of revenge to reconciliation? Um, how do we get from here to uh, there? How do we get to where what you said about two-state solution, living by, side by side? Is it actually achievable? The short answer is yes, I do believe it is, but we must then put the discussion in context. Starting with October 7. On October 7th, Hamas committed an, a terrorist act that was about slaughtering over 1,200 Israelis, innocent people, many of them young people who were attending a concert. Women were horribly tortured and raped, rape being used as a tool of war. And it is important that we remember what that was. And I will say, understand that Israel then had a right to defend itself. We would. We would. And, and how it does so matters. We have also been clear that far too many innocent Palestinians have been killed, that Israel must do better to protect innocent civilians. We have seen what has been happening in terms of the images that we see on a daily basis of the human suffering and the need for humanitarian aid. And the president and our administration and I have been very adamant about getting that humanitarian aid in. Um, we look at the circumstances of what's happening. There are tunnels under hospitals and, and what that means in terms of this conflict and, and how it is implemented. But ultimately, Christoph, to your point, um, to get to the day after, hostages need to be released. Um, we must understand the importance of the principles that should be applied to the day after, including no reoccupation of Gaza, no change of its geographic territory, um, no return of, of terrorism by Hamas, and ultimately apply certain principles to how the day after will look, including the importance of security for Gaza and the region, both interim and permanent, what must be done in terms of governance for Gaza, and then rebuilding Gaza. We've been very clear that we believe that the PA should be the authority on that with reform, but that that should take place. There cannot be, in my opinion, peace and security for that region, for the people of Israel, or the Palestinians and the people of Gaza, without a two-state solution. And we cannot give up on that. But how we get there is going to matter. And most recently, just this week, actually, I was with the King of Jordan in, in my West Wing office in Washington. Um, previously, at the end of last year, I was with a number of Arab leaders in Dubai. And the work that will happen among nations to help with these ultimate goals will be critically important.